Is your ex with somebody else and you want them back? Or have they blocked you completely on social media and you feel like you've completely ruined any chance that you may have? Or if you're even just having a hard time staying positive and controlling your emotions while you're waiting for your manifestation to show up, well, this video is going to be perfect for you because I've got a great strategy that's going to help you to get past that and to create exactly what you want. So stay tuned because that's what we're going to talk about today. Amanda here from createyourfuture.co. So I'm a counselor, life coach, and a certified law of attraction coach. And today we're going to talk about how to stay positive or even control your emotions while you're waiting for your manifestation to show up. So I'm really excited about this video, like every video I make. <laughs> Anyways, if you haven't already subscribed, definitely subscribe and hit the bell icon below because I do put out new videos every Wednesday and Sunday, each one of them designed to help you create something wonderful in your life. And that is is honestly my intention for each and every one of you that you'll watch my videos and be able to create something for yourselves of course so let's get started okay so now I love this concept and I love this strategy that I'm going to present to you because I use it every day, every minute of the day, because sometimes when things show up in our reality, it is so difficult to stay positive and focused on our manifestation. So let's say you're trying to get your ex back. All of a sudden you see him with somebody else. Like, yeah, absolutely infuriating. I get it. Okay. So the first thing to understand is the first concept that I'm going to explain is that everything you're experiencing now is a result of your previous thoughts okay so what you're experiencing in your reality right this moment is what you thought yesterday the day before the week before the month before so that thought right there will alleviate a little bit of that emotion because really our thoughts created what we're seeing right now so if we focus and dwell on it and then get upset at it and angry and frustrated we're really just focusing and giving what we're seeing in our reality more energy and what we resist will persist, okay? So the first thing to understand is you created it and that is good news even if you don't like what you're seeing because that means you can change it. So here we go. I'm even going to add a little bit of everyone as you pushed out into this as well. <laughs> so what do I do when I come across a situation? So I see my boyfriend, my ex Joe, and he's with another girl and I want him back and it infuriates me. So what I do in those situations is I look at what's showing up in my reality and I say, you know what? That's fine, Joe. He's with somebody else. Okay. Yeah, that upsets me. I think to myself, okay. I want him. Okay. So I say, well, you know what? My thoughts created this. So my thoughts can change it. So thank you universe for showing me that that's what I previously created. I would not like that. What I would like instead is I intend for Joe to be single and I intend for Joe to come back to me and to ask me to be his girlfriend or whatever. Right? So that's the strategy because with everyone as you pushed out, you ultimately can change the way someone's thinking, feeling, and acting, okay? So anytime that you see anything in your reality show up, so let's say I have an employee named Joe, and Joe shows up late for work, and then I think Joe doesn't care, okay? Well, you know, if I get upset at that, say as a boss, then I'm only going to get more of it. And I've created that anyway with my thoughts. So I say thank you, universe, for showing me what I created with my thoughts yesterday. I, however, would no longer like that. I would now like Joe to show up to work on time and to care about his job. Okay, so that's the strategy is to take a look at what's going on in your life. Okay, so let's say, for instance, um, you're worried about what your ex thinks and if your ex is mad at you or not or even loves you anymore. Great. You know what? That's a perfect opportunity to stop yourself and say, you know what? Everyone is me pushed out. And I know that if I'm thinking that, then, you know, they're thinking that. So, no, I don't want that because thinking that's going to make me upset. Instead, I intend for my ex to be single and for my ex to want me back. Let's say you're worried um, that you ruined your relationship with your ex. You're just absolutely worried they never want to talk to you again. Or they've actually blocked you on social media. And that's what you're seeing in your reality. So what you would do at that point is you would notice it in your reality and you would say, thank you universe for showing me that they've blocked me. 
I intend for them to unblock me and to start communicating with me again. Okay, so that, that first intention gets the ball rolling. And then make sure anytime that you notice that they've blocked you or they tell you not to contact them, that you just remember that it is a result of yesterday, the week before, the months before's thought. And you say, okay, thank you universe for showing me what I thought previously. I would like to change that now. And what I would like is for him to unblock me and to start talking to me again. Okay, so use things that show up in your reality as a way to change them okay and take that next step and remember 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 always focus on what you want the intentions that you want anyways yeah that's the video for today and this strategy is good to eliminate anxiety if you're worried about what anyone's ever thinking about you or if somebody says no i don't want to date you say thank you universe for showing me that i intend for them to date me right? Nothing set in stone. Anything you're experiencing right now is a result of yesterday, last month's, last week's thoughts. And guess what? That's good news because if you created it, that means you can change it. Anyways, that's the video for today. If you guys, anybody would like life coaching, my details are in the description below. And yes, thank you for sharing, liking, commenting, and subscribing. I have to say this channel has grown so much in the last month and it's all because of you guys. So thank you so incredibly much. I cannot thank you enough from the bottom of my heart. You guys are all wonderful. So go create something wonderful for yourselves. I intend that you guys will all have a breakthrough and create something wonderful for yourselves, okay? So we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.